Welcome back. And here is another episode. Today we're going to do a, another kind of um, kind of frequently asked question. How do you start a planner in the middle of the month? It's one of those that can be really stressful. So today we're going to show you five ways, or I think there's a couple more that I've added in. I'm gonna show you some ways to add in or combine pages together and just come up with some really clever ideas to use up that extra space that you don't really need. Um, we are going to go through a bunch of really simple ways to do this. So don't fret, it's really easy and super quick and you can use it essentially any time of the month as well if you've got extra pages in the back or if there's just something you want to add in extra as well. If this is your first time here, welcome, so happy to have you please hit the subscribe button down below. Really looking forward to having you with me on this journey. And today I would love to know what your biggest challenge is. So pop a comment below around what your biggest uh, bullet journaling or planning challenge is at the moment. And let's see if we can help you out. All right, let's get started with ways that you can use up that extra space if you're starting mid month. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open up my Archer and Olive Undated Planner and I'm going to head to a November month. Obviously, you can see I haven't set up November yet and I've got a couple of other things planned for the rest of the year. So, once I've found my November month, I'm going to take just really simply have a look at how many pages I've got. I know that it is the middle of the month that I'll be starting on. So going to head over and just grab my pencil and kind of mark out which days I'm going to be using. So let's get started doing that. Now that we've got that started, I'm going to come back into my monthly planner and I'm just going to kind of work out how many extra spaces I've got spare. I'm going to pop in my November marker and then I'm going to pop in the days of the week because with the undated planner, you can start on any day of the week, making sure that my pencil erasings are completely gone. Here I'm using the Rose K Paper Co stickers. Super cute bubble stickers. I couldn't wait to use them and they fit so beautifully in my planner. So heading into the first suggestion, what we're going to do is we're going to use this page and stick in a dotted clear page to use at a later stage. We obviously need to trim it to size because it's a little bit bigger and we want something lightweight and thin because the paper in the Archer Olive notebook is really 160 GSM. So we want to make sure that it's nice and thin and the profile is going to stay pretty light rather than chunking up your planner a little bit more. Once it's stuck in, I'm going to add a couple of embellishments to it. I'm also going to trim the corner and make sure that it's just looking the same size as the rest of my pages. Alright, the next thing we can do is essentially just stick our pages together. If you've got extra pages that you don't know what to do with, just stick them together. You just take some glue, obviously, and pop them together. It's not rocket science, and it's pretty straightforward, and really just solves a lot of problems. Does chunk up your notebook a little bit, but that's okay if that's what you want to do. All right, the next idea is also really simple. Just put your pages together, grab a paper clip, and you can use them at a later date. How simple is that? We really can't get any more easier than that. That way, if you don't know what you want to do with your pages, you can always save it for later. It keeps a low profile and it keeps your notebook not as chunky. It's 
create a little envelope. If you want to keep some secret squirrel stuff in your notebook, or if you want to keep some extra notes, or if you want to keep receipts or extra paper, this is the way to do it. What I'm doing here is I'm going to stick a backing paper on one page, and I'm going to measure out and cut the paper on a top page. What we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of create a little envelope and keep it really simple. Okay, so once we've stuck it in, we're going to cut it to make sure that we create the little envelope feel to it, just making sure that it doesn't damage the paper completely. I'm going to use some double-sided tape to stick it together, and you can see it's pretty straightforward. There is nothing hard about this, and it just creates an extra secret little space for you to put some cute stuff in. Let's put some cute things in right now. Last but not least, we're going to create a dashboard page. What I'm doing is I'm using the washi tape I used on my first page to cover up the days of the week to hide the fact that they're boxes. Now what I'm going to do is add a couple more embellishments just around the page to kind of give it some texture and some vibrance. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it into a dashboard. So the dashboard is going to contain some key goals for the month, some things that I want to read, a to-do list, list and you know just general things that I might want to reflect on or use in the month. Not forgetting that another option is adding stickers. That's all from me today. Thank you so much for joining us. Please hit the subscribe button below and hit the little bell notification because we'd love to see you more often. Have a wonderful rest of the day.